So you just found a new Vocaloid song that you really like, and hey, there's a VPR file and instrumental available for download as well. So you decide to make a cover of it with your favorite voice bank. You load everything up, hit play, and... Uh... Uh, well, that doesn't sound right. That's because we're missing a critical step. Mixing. If you've never heard that term before, or if you've just never known where to start, you're in the right place. I'm going to show you how to go from a bare vocal render to a basic mixed cover before the end of this video. All you'll need is a version of Vocaloid 5 or 6 and a digital audio workstation of your choice. Don't have one? No worries, you can use the free trial of FL Studio as it has no time limit. I've also included a download for the VPR and instrumental file to my newest song, Look Beyond, which is what I'll be mixing in this tutorial. Links to everything in the description below. Let's start by opening Vocaloid and dragging the VPR file into the main window to load it. Now, take note of the tempo number at the top, we'll need this for later. Double click any of the vocal parts to bring up this lower section. Then, drag a box to select all the vocal parts at the top. Select the voice tab here, and select the voice bank of your choice. Make sure the voice is in the same language as your VPR file, otherwise it won't be able to sing the song. For this tutorial, I'm going to go with Rin English. Now click on File, Audio Mix Down, and tick the option for Multi-Channel. This will keep all of your vocal layers, such as leads, harmonies, etc. separate. Select a destination folder and click OK. We're now done in Vocaloid, so open up FL Studio or whatever DAW you're using. Open up a blank project, if it hasn't loaded one already, and start by setting the tempo, sometimes called BPM. Set this to match the tempo you saw earlier in the VPR file. Now drag all the vocal files that you rendered from Vocaloid, along with the instrumental file of the song, into your DAW. Depending on what DAW you're using, the following steps might be completely different for you, but the remainder of this tutorial will explain everything using FL Studio. First, make sure you have all the necessary panels open. Click on View, and make sure at least Playlist, Channel Rack, and Mixer are checked. Also, make sure you're in Song Mode and not Pattern Mode, otherwise you won't hear anything when you hit Play. Then, click and drag these little boxes next to each vocal file so that they have a different number. I recommend just starting at 1 and incrementing upward for each track. We are now ready to begin mixing by heading over to the Mixer panel. Look for the insert tracks that match the numbers you just set. I had set my lead vocal to 1, so I will select Insert 1. Over here on the right is where you will load mixing plugins by clicking on the empty slots, which will show you a massive list of every plugin you can find in FL. Don't worry, we only need 4 plugins to achieve a basic mix. We'll start by clicking on the topmost effects slot and loading a fruity parametric EQ2. For this plugin, you're in luck. There is an included preset that sounds pretty good with most vocals. Right click these two triangles on the top right corner of the plugin, or click the downward facing triangle in the top left corner and select Presets to see the preset list. Select the preset called Vocal Presence. I won't go into detail about why this preset works, but if you're using a different DAW or EQ plugin, you can recreate this preset by roughly placing three control nodes in the same positions as you see now. We can now move on to the next mixing plugin we'll need. Feel free to close the Parametric EQ2 plugin window before clicking on the next empty effects slot below it. This time you're looking for Fruity Compressor. This will probably be the most complicated plugin to set up in this guide, but I'll make it as straightforward as possible. First, set the ratio knob to 4 to 1, and the type knob to medium. Then, start playing back the audio by pressing spacebar or pressing the play button up here. As the vocals play, start dragging this threshold knob downward. What you're listening for is for the vocals to start getting noticeably quieter than how it was originally. If it helps, you can mute the music by clicking the little green button here. Just make sure to right click on these little green selection markers first, otherwise you'll just mute everything. Do clouds block your mind? All your dreams. There! That sounds about right to me. See how as I turn the compressor on and off, the volume of the vocal drops noticeably when it's turned on. Look up above, and what do you see? 
Of course, it's not very useful having super quiet vocals like this. That's where this gain knob comes in. It's literally just a volume knob, so we'll turn this knob upwards until it reaches a good volume compared to the music. Remember to unmute the music if you muted it earlier. Just within reach. Only two plugins left now. Select the next empty slot and load a Fruity Delay 2 plugin. Look for a preset called Stereo Effect. Right click the knob labeled Time, highlight the word Set, and select four steps from the list that pops out. Start playing your vocal again and set the VOL knob in the input section to control the volume of the echoes. I'd recommend setting this to around 30 to 40%. Look up above, and what do you see? Do clouds block your mind? Lastly, we'll load a Fruity Reverb 2 plugin. Unlike with the previous plugins, there isn't a particular preset or setting that I would recommend. Instead, try out the various presets and see which one sounds best alongside the music. The one thing you may need to adjust is this wet slider. This controls the volume of the effect. You may need to have this higher or lower than what is set in the preset depending on the song. Look up above, and what do you see? Do clouds block your mind? All your dreams just If you're using a different reverb plugin that has way too many presets to try them all out, look for ones that have the word vocal, hall, or plate in the name. These will usually suit vocals really well. And with that, you should be done. The only thing left to do is to copy and paste these effects onto any remaining vocal tracks in the song. You can do this easily by right-clicking on Insert 1, selecting File, and then clicking and dragging the Save Mixer Track State As option onto the next insert that has vocals going to it. Repeat this as many times as necessary. After that, you can export out an audio file by clicking on File, Export, selecting a format you want, picking a destination to save the file, and giving the file a name. Don't worry about these export settings, the defaults are fine. Note that if you've been following along with the free trial of FL Studio, be sure to export anything you've created before closing the program, as you won't be able to save your project using the free trial. Congratulations! you've just mixed your first Vocaloid cover. I hope you've found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions or would like to see a more advanced tutorial covering more intermediate mixing techniques, let me know in a comment below. And while you're down there, give the video a like as well. It would help a lot. But with that said, I will leave you with a before and after comparison of how this cover sounds with and without mixing enabled. And I will see you all next time.